Arena Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Ford. Ford, built for victory, built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, 919 All Fours. Hello again, and welcome to another edition of the Carolina Insider. We have a busy 30 minutes coming up including an interview with Clemson transfer Kyler McMichael, starting cornerback for the Tar Heels, and also our trip around social media and our social drive. And we'll start with the Tar Heel matchup against Florida State in Tallahassee. And unfortunately, for the first time this year, the Tar Heels fell short against the Seminoles. We're going to have full highlights and post-game reaction from that matchup. In fact, why don't we get things started by heading back to Saturday night and see some first-half highlights between Carolina and FSU. Heels had two punts blocked that day. They've had two blocked today. Javante Williams slips through a tackle off down the far sideline into Williams Florida State Gary. territory over the 50 and over the 45 before he's bumped out there. And he's going to get it again. This time coming near side. Now fires up the middle over the 35. Boy, what a couple of strong runs by Williams. He just patiently waited on the right side and then just gunned it right between the hash marks. So Carolina trying the pooch punt. Kiernan does a great job. It bounces at the five, and it's down at the three. Obi Egbuna down to down the punt. Travis claps his hands. Now gets the snap, and he'll throw. Chapman applying pressure and drops him down. Travis on the keeper. Don Chapman, the Tar Heel safety, crashed through the right side of the offensive line for Florida State and picks up the sack. Florida State rushes four. Howell steps up, uncorks one, caught by Corrales at the 35. Corrales shakes a tackle. He's at midfield into Florida State territory to the Seminole 45. Best play of the day as Corrales with the long catch and run to the FSU 45. And I think the Tar Heels probably feel the exact opposite. Howell, play action, whips it over the middle, caught by Newsom at the 40. He's able to jump forward to the 37. Good gain of 13. Carolina plenty of time, more than two minutes and two timeouts to work with. Carolina needs the 35-yard line for the first down. They'll hand off to Javante Williams. He has it in more around the far side, 30, 25, 20, down the far sideline, 15, 10, and he's dropped there. Javante Williams, another explosive run, and there is an injured Seminole down. He'll send Groves in motion from right to left. Hand off to Javante Williams, and he will walk in around the right side of the offensive line. So Williams gets Carolina on the board with 102 to play in the first half. Florida State, who came into this game just one and three, absolutely dominates the first 30 minutes behind their new quarterback, Jordan Travis who has alone 250 yards. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. And Travis looked like he was trying to fake the handoff, but I'm not sure the running back got the message. And so Trey Morrison was able to get in there and rip down Travis. The running back was Jay Sean Corbin. He immediately began to block, did not even sell the play action at all. Travis will turn and keep it on the ground. Stretching it out to the near side and eventually being pushed out of bounds by Jeremiah Gimmel was Jay Sean Corbin. Corbin fell down after he had gone out of bounds and that's why you heard the big pop from the crowd wanting a flag. Carolina has gained 327 yards. Florida State came in giving up 454. Quick hitter to the far sideline caught by De'Ami Brown for the first down. He had gotten free from Samuel for one of the rare times tonight. Javante Williams standing to the left of Howe. He has three receivers to the right, one to the left. He's going to throw on second and ten. Again, Howe has to step up in the pocket. Able to get free, dumps it down the middle of the field, caught at the 15, 
Javante Williams will walk in for the score. And was it the Boston College game? He scored the exact same way. It looked like the exact same play. Howell able to keep the play alive, avoid the pressure. He will play action. Roll to the right. Tried to go back to the left. Nothing there. Howell scrambling. Dumps it off to Walston. Back line in the end zone for the deuce. And that was a great job by Garrett Walston, who was originally covered. He's going to do just that. Brian comes to the near side, and he stops short. Gimmel, Tamari Fox. Cameron Kelly all in the mix. Heels going left to right, trying to get back in this thing. Down two scores. Walston middle of the field, 30. Spins away at the 35. Another big catch for the Tar Heel tight end. Down to the 38, a gain of 21. 21 yards for Walston. Powell to throw again. Looking near sideline. One-on-one -on -one and caught Corrales at the 40. Corrales dragging Seminoles down the near numbers inside the 25. And good recognition by That's Bo Corrales, good. understanding that the ball was slightly underthrown and thrown inside and him adjusting yeah, yeah, to the football good. early on in the play. Second and 21. How to throw. Knowles rush four. Going to Corrales, near side. Corrales leaps in the end zone. Got it. Got it. Touchdown, Carolina. What a grab by Corrales in traffic. The heels somehow are right back in this puppy. Wow, what a catch by Corrales. Two defenders, Travis J and Akeem Dent, were both there. Travis on the first down. Will fake the handoff. Rolling out to the far side. A flag comes in as the pass intercepted. Morrison, a leaping one-handed pick at the 35. Holy smokes. And that's the play the defense needed. Somebody to create a turnover. And that was a spectacular play by Morrison. Hal trying to cock for the deep ball. Let's it go. Javante Williams battling and bringing it in at the 35. Falling down, Williams battling with Emmett Rice makes the juggling catch falling to his seat. Hal claps his hands. He'll throw again. Going down the far side. Caught Brown over the shoulder for six. Deami Brown brings in the perfect throw and gets Carolina within a score. That was just op great operation, great ball by Sam, great route by Diami. Second and long. How to throw. Goes down the far sideline. One on one. Corrales climbs the ladder again and brings it in near midfield. Bo Corrales, a career night. The Tar Heels fight valiantly back. Have the ball in their hands, down three at the end but just can't quite make enough plays to stay undefeated we dug ourselves in a huge hole at halftime i thought we would come back and settle down and win the game the second half and we had our opportunities and uh, we turned the momentum we played much better defense the second half uh, we moved the ball much better the second half uh, i thought we had the ball 45 plays and and um uh, 20 minutes, basically the first half. I thought they'd wear down in the in the fourth quarter, which happened. Um, but when we um, Trey Morrison forced the interception, uh, and then we didn't get points, we, we didn't score a touchdown. But we also missed the field goal when we had uh, a lot of momentum going at that point. Uh, that killed a lot of clock. It let them take it down to the other end, and and then we. Um, uh, I thought we did a good job getting us back in position to win, but obviously uh, we, we dropped two passes there at the end of the game to, that uh, kept us from winning the game. Uh, first half was awful. Uh, I mean, we throw an interception for a touchdown. We have two block punts. I think the first block punt was from the outside, and we had a slow operation because uh, he's a free player that's not supposed to be able to get there. Uh, and that set all momentum against us and, and gave them confidence. And that's one thing they were lacking. They had good players. We knew they'd played much better against Notre Dame, but we didn't need to get them off to a good start. And we, we joining us this week on the Carolina Insider. Look forward to seeing you next week. Another big ACC matchup as the Tar Heels will host NC State in Chapel Hill. That and so much more coming up next week on the next edition of the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better.
Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for.